Good morning children. Today we'll talk about the sound. How do you get up in the morning? It's by the sound of alarm clock or by a mother's wake up call or maybe by the chirping of birds. So you can say that your day starts with the sound. Sound is a very important part of our life. We are able to communicate with each other mostly by sound only. So let us learn more about sound. So how is sound produced? Can we clap with one hand? Or can we play the drum without thumping a drum? No, because sound can be produced with the help of two objects. Touch the school bell when it is not in use. You don't feel anything. Again touch it when it is producing sound. Can you feel it vibrating? Yes, we can also see it vibrating at times. If a metallic plate falls down, we not only hear sound but can also see it vibrating. The sound stops once the vibration stops. All these activities tell us that sound is produced by vibrating bodies. I am sure now you must be thinking, so what vibrates when we speak? How is the sound produced then? Well, when you sing a song or speak loudly, just keep your hands on your throat and see if you can feel anything trembling. In humans, the sound is produced by the voice box or the larynx. Put your fingers on the throat and find a hard bump that seems to move when you swallow. This part of the body is known as the voice box. So, we can say that any body when vibrates produces sound. And when it stops vibrating, the sound also stops. Let us see how different musical instruments produce sound. The instruments like guitar, violin, veena, etc. contain strings of different thickness fixed on hollow wooden boards with different tension that is tightness varies. When the string is plucked, it vibrates and the sound is produced. The varying sound is produced by the variation in the thickness, length and the tension of the string. These are the stringed instruments. How about drum? In drum or even tabla or mridangam or dholak, generally cylindrical in shape, contain membrane fixed with different tensions on the two sides. If the membrane is vibrated by hand, or by sticks at different places, different sounds are produced. The flute or clarinet are the blow type of instruments. These instruments have cylindrical tubes open at both the ends. They are provided with holes in a row on their surfaces. By blowing air through them while changing the length of the air column, different sounds are produced. Now we know about sound. But what is music and what is noise? Generally we say that musical instruments produce music. But if musical sound becomes too loud, would it remain melodious? Let us see. What was that? That didn't sound like music. We will call it noise only. So the unpleasant sounds around us are called noise even when they are produced by musical instruments. The sound was irregular without any order and rhythm so it was not pleasing to hear and we called it noise. Although music can be hard to define, it is often described as a pleasing or meaningful arrangement of sounds. That is, when sound produced are regular and systematic following particular rhythm, they are pleasant to hear and we call it music. If 
however a music sound becomes too loud it would become noise can we create music using kitchen utensils yes let us do that take six metal bowls or tumblers fill them with water up to different levels increasing gradually from one end to the another here we see the water level is decreasing from one end to the other end now take a pencil and strike the glasses gently strike all of them in succession you will hear a pleasant sound this is music and this instrument is your jal tarang in the story you heard krishna's voice replying back from across the valley hello friend hello friend how does it happen when you make a sound sound waves travel through the air you first hear that sound when the sound waves reach your ears however if those sound waves hit an obstacle like a building or the walls of a cave they bounce back into the air because those objects do not absorb the sound instead they reflect or bounce the sound back and you hear it a second time that second sound is called an echo as we understood from the krishna's case don't you agree that our life is an echo too if we do good to others good will surely happen to us but we can't expect good from others when we always behave and act badly with others right kids so give the world the best you have and the best will come back to you always remember that the voice was heard back not just once but many times in the story i love you I krishna love you, i love you krishna why was it so you know if only one obstacle reflects the sound you will hear only one echo a simple echo but if many surfaces reflect the echo bouncing it from surface to other like a valley or canyon surrounded by mountains you hear the echo over and over but it grows fainter at each repetition this repeated echo is called a compound echo or reverberation you know echoes can be used to measure how far you are sending from the echo producing surface since sound waves travel at about 1 mile every 5 second to sum up we now know that vibrating body produces sound and when the vibration stops the sound is not produced all the musical instruments produce music by vibrating some or the other part even in humans the sound is produced by vibration of the voice box or the larynx when the sound is pleasant to hear we call it music and the unpleasant sounds are called noise also if the sound waves hit an obstacle like in building or the walls of cave they bounce back into air and we hear it a second time that second sound is called an echo that was all for today see you next time bye bye kids